a car so quiet it could literally sneak up behind you, as it did with me and fellow reporter Kevin Spradlin, is the latest arrival on the car scene in Hampshire County, West Virginia, an electric 2012 Chevrolet Volt. I'm Greg Glary for HampshireReview.com. As Kevin and I stood waiting on the Mayhew Chevrolet parking lot in Sunrise Summit, salesman Troy Haynes pulled the vehicle up behind us. To our surprise, we didn't hear it until it was basically on top of us. The Volt truly is an extremely quiet vehicle. Okay, Troy, let's go ahead and fire that thing up. Okay, uh, you, have you got your hearing aids turned up? They're fired up all let's the way. Try. Turn on 10. We're on. Now that is a quiet start. You basically can't tell it's on. It's just that quiet. Uh, in, in all actuality, we're sitting still uh, without any uh, fan running uh, for the air conditioning or heat. So therefore, uh, there's actually nothing running. Nothing's moving. A fully electric car, the Volt also has a supplemental gasoline-powered motor, which is referred to as a generator. The generator kicks in only to act as a charging device to keep the electric motor running after its initial running mileage of 40 to 50 miles per charge has been depleted. With the generator running, you can travel about 360 additional miles before needing to refuel or recharge the car. The base price starts at around $40,000 for a Volt, with additional packages adding to the cost. The features in this Volt bring its price tag to $46,000. In addition to its gas savings, the pricey cost can be offset somewhat by a $7,500 federal tax credit if the car is purchased new. Living in mountains such as ours is a concern for area drivers. However, when test driving the Volt, this reporter found the car to be very responsive, although time constraints prevented us from driving any steep mountain pulls. Thanks to Mayhew Chevrolet salesman Troy Haynes, I was able to get an up-close look at the Chevy Volt. What is Chevy? What's its hopes for the Volt? We're looking for a vehicle that's totally electric, uh, as we know it is. It is completely electric car. It does have, however, an onboard generator. So uh, your battery life can only last you so long. We're looking at uh, around approximately 40 miles on uh, running total electric, emissions-free, absolutely zero carbon, no footprints. Under the hood, we've got uh, what looks to be like a lot. It's not really as much as it seems. Uh, we've got our top end here is our, uh, our engine, our motor. This is our electric motor that drives the car. Under this side here is our gasoline engine that uh, acts as a generator that charges the batteries as they expend their life. Uh, so there's, it is absolutely 100% seamless. On a regular 110 or 120 volt uh, wall outlet, which is a standard, same thing you plug your lamp into, it's about a 10 hour charge time. They do offer an upgraded charging system that is uh, a 240 volt uh, that'll charge the car in about four hours. As far as leg room, pasture room, shoulder room, I've got plenty of room in this car. Uh, of course, this vehicle is fully equipped. It has cruise control, power windows, power locks, uh, steering wheel audio control. Let's see what this bad boy looks like inside. Contact. Build in GPS. As you can see, we were talking earlier about the vehicle being fully equipped. Uh, this one does have the navigation. Uh, it's uh, actually a hard drive nav, so it's, it doesn't require a disk. And uh, it also has, uh, as you can see on our instrument panel here, it's kind of unique looking. Uh, if we can see that here, over here to the left, we have our battery life, which it's saying it, as it stands right now, we should be able to go 30 miles on the charge that we have in the car. And over to the right here, we have the gas, uh, which it only has about a quarter of a tank. So it's saying if we run out of battery and we are using the gasoline generator, we can still go an additional 73 miles after we run out of battery life. And as far as uh, mountain driving, uh, Troy, how do you think it'll handle the mountains? The, obviously it's going to use a little bit more engine uh, or a little bit more electric on the mountains. Uh, I don't think we're going to see a terrible amount of what we're dealing with in our area immediately. Uh, they do have a mountain mode, which uh, 
in extreme cases, and I'm talking in the Rockies or where there's a, a very long mountain grades, uh, they recommend that you put it in mountain mode about 20 minutes before you actually get to where you're going to really start a hard pull. Up here we have our OnStar. Always there for you in time of need, whether it's an emergency, you have a question, and they also have an awesome hands-free calling uh, system. Because, yeah, those seats will lay down. Give you more. tons of cargo space. This is it be the charging. That which you would mount to the wall at your home. Basically, as we were saying, 110 outlet. Come to the front of the car. Plug it in. Just like any house would have. Yep. And again, it's set up where you can mount it right onto the wall. And you say you got a little light on there. These are your indicators to tell you when your charge is full or what the charging status is. Or with the Volt through your MyLink, you can actually go in and check your charging state through your phone. How much longer is it going to take for my car to be charged? I can go in and change the times that I want it to charge. You can also set that in the car, but you don't even have to get in the car. You can do it from your smartphone. The advantage of that is you can have it charging during off-peak hours for your, through your electric company, which will in turn save you more money. Troy, shall we take her for a ride? Absolutely. This is going to be the most fun you've had all day. Let's go. <laughs> As we just uh, powered down our Chevy Bolt, uh, it shows on this charge we've traveled 3.3 miles. We've had 1.9 kilowatt hours used. We've had zero gallons of gas used. So we're looking at an average of 250 plus uh, miles per gallon so far over the past three miles. Let's fire the old hot rod up here. Oh. Wow. So quiet. Basically what, what we're hearing is the tires rolling. We're tires. really not hearing that. that. Is it. And uh, as we were saying, a very, very, very quiet car. And you can only hear just a little bit of road noise from the tires. I hear just a little bit of a zzzz, that, yeah, as any electric motor will make. Very smooth acceleration. It's kind of an instant power from the, because it's an electric motor and not a gasoline engine. So the power is there when you need it at the time you want it there's no waiting for the engine to build up its power because it's a totally electric motor it's all right there and it's all right now and we're on our test drive here you're looking at the new hampshire memorial hospital this will be the first uh, Chevrolet Volt that uh, we've had here in Romney at Mayu Chevrolet. And uh, we're, as we've been saying, we're very, very excited to have it. And we're back at Mayu Chevrolet. Let's see if there's anyone on the lot we can sneak up on. <laughs> Point out, too, the turning radius. <laughs> 